What if I told you your blood type might hold the secrets of ancient migrations, medical superpowers, and even your personality? Blood. We all possess it, yet it encompasses numerous mysteries. Different blood types exist. A, B, O, and AB. Today, we'll focus on the rarest of them all. Type A. It's recognized as the least common blood type globally, and it carries some unusual facts you likely didn't know. First, let's simplify things. There are four primary blood types, A, B, AB, and O. These classifications depend on the existence of lack of proteins, referred to as antigens on red blood cell surfaces. Imagine these antigens as ID labels telling your immune system, I belong here. A blood type features A antigens, while type B has B antigens. Type O lacks both, and AB contains both A and B antigens. This uniqueness is just the beginning. Roughly 4% of the global population has a B blood. So out of 100 people, only about 4 possess this blood type. In certain regions, like Japan and Korea, its occurrence is a bit higher, but it's still uncommon everywhere. Consequently, those with AB blood have piqued curiosity, inspired myths, and even led to personality theories for many years. One of the most intriguing aspects of A blood relates to blood donation. If you possess A blood, your situation is rather unique. You are classified as a universal plasma donor, yet a universal red blood cell recipient. Let's clarify this. If you require a transfusion and have AB blood, you can receive red blood cells from any blood type, AB, A or O. This is immensely advantageous, especially in emergencies. Doctors won't need to rush to find a precise match since you are already compatible with everyone. Now, here's the catch. When it comes to blood donation, the scenario flips. AB red blood cells can solely be given to others with AB blood. And remember, only 4% of the population holds that type. As a result, AB blood donors are confined to a limited group. Their blood is precious but restricted in its recipients. Conversely, the plasma from AB blood is an entire different story. Type AB plasma has no antibodies against A or B blood, meaning it's safe for anyone, regardless of their blood type. Consequently, AB plasma donors are considered universal. Hospitals appreciate this, since it makes AB plasma invaluable in trauma situations when they must act swiftly, without the luxury of matching blood types. Now, let's explore the origins of AB blood. This is where things become a bit peculiar. AB is the newest blood type among the major ones. While types A, B and O have existed for thousands of years, AB emerged only within the last 1000 to 1200 years. This is quite recent in human history. Most experts assert that AB blood originated from intermixing populations with A and B blood types, likely in regions where ethnic groups began intermarrying and raising families. So AB blood may symbolize human migration, mingling and evolution through time. Essentially, it serves as genetic evidence that individuals from diverse backgrounds united to form new communities. Some researchers theorize that the spread of AB blood began during the era of the Mongol Empire, when populations across Asia and Europe started to mingle. Though up for debate, this explains why AB blood suddenly emerged compared to its counterparts. Another curious fact about AB blood pertains to its immune system interactions. Individuals with AB blood possess both A and B antigens, making their immune systems less prone to attack foreign red blood cells, causing a reduced risk of immune reactions during transfusions. This is why AB is labeled as the universal recipient for red blood cells. It cooperates well with everyone else's blood, yet there is a downside. Due to the scarcity of AB blood, matching it for donations presents challenges. In emergencies or disasters, this poses significant complications. If someone with AB blood loses a substantial amount of blood and there's insufficient universal donor blood, like O negative, situations can quickly become complex. Let's briefly dive into something a bit odd. Theories linking blood type to personality have gained traction. In Japan and South Korea, there is a prevalent belief that blood types can influence personality traits. This is reminiscent of astrology, but rooted in biology. Per this theory, individuals with AB blood are perceived as intricate, enigmatic and creative, yet also somewhat unpredictable or two-faced. Why the label? The reasoning is that since AB people showcase both A and B antigens, they purportedly exhibit characteristics from both A and B personality types. Some consider them charming and artistic, but potentially difficult to grasp or trust. Of course, genuine scientific backing for these ideas is lacking. It leans more toward cultural perspectives, showcasing how rare blood types like AB inspire fascination. In some Asian regions, people faced hiring or rejection based on their blood type. It's less common now, 
yet this phenomenon endured for a significant period. There were even dating apps matching users by blood type. If you were AB, individuals either sought you out for dating due to your uniqueness or avoided you for thought to be challenging personality traits. Once more, this isn't scientifically supported, but it illustrates how something as simple as blood type can influence self-perception and perceptions of others. Returning to facts, individuals with AB blood often display elevated levels of specific clotting factors. Essentially, their blood may clot slightly quicker than other types. This is beneficial if you incur a cut, aiding in rapid bleeding control. However, studies suggest it could also increase the chance of blood clots in certain scenarios, such as post-surgery or during lengthy flights. While not an overwhelming risk, it remains a consideration for doctors when planning treatments or medications. There's also a possibility that those with AB blood could face an elevated risk of cognitive issues later in life. A study conducted in 2014 revealed that individuals with AB blood exhibited a higher likelihood of developing dementia compared to others. Scientists remain uncertain about the reasons behind this, but it may relate to how blood type influences clotting and circulation within the brain. It's essential not to panic, though. Having AB blood does not guarantee health issues. It merely demonstrates how your blood type correlates with more than just transfusions. Surprisingly, your gut health might even be associated with your blood. Yes, certain studies indicate diverse blood types linked to specific gut bacteria. Individuals with AB blood tend to host a blend of bacteria found in both A and B types, potentially influencing digestion, metabolism and immune responses. Research is ongoing in this area, but it's an exciting field. And here's an additional surprising fact. A blood types are rare amongst humans, but they're also uncommon in animals. Most animals do not utilize the same blood typing system as us. However, when scientists study primates and other mammals, AB-like traits are incredibly rare. This raises questions about why AB exists at all. Why has it appeared in humans yet remains almost non-existent in the animal kingdom? Pondering these questions adds to the allure of AB blood. It's rare recent in our history and operates distinctly compared to other types. So far, we've explored the rarity of AB blood, how it functions differently, and its potential impact on your immune system, memory, and gut bacteria. But now, let's delve even deeper. The tale of AB blood goes beyond rarity and oddity. It also holds significant relevance in medicine and science. Let's begin with organ donation. In organ transplants, blood type is pivotal. You cannot place any organ into any body. The immune system is extremely particular. If it detects something unfamiliar, it will attack, leading to what's termed rejection. One of the primary factors doctors review when matching a donor with a recipient is blood type. Here's where AB blood is particularly interesting. Again, AB blood recipients can accept organs from various blood types when necessary, much like they do with blood transfusions. This grants them universal recipient status for select transplants such as liver and kidney. This provides a notable advantage. If you have AB blood waiting for an organ donor, your odds of finding a suitable match are superior to many. Conversely, however, organ donations from AB blood individuals are challenging due to the rarity of the blood type. Therefore, the pool of AB donors is small. To sum it up, possessing AB blood functions like a medical superpower, but only during receiving. Now, let's discuss disease risk. Over the years, scientists have uncovered surprising connections between blood type and various diseases. While studies are ongoing, some noteworthy patterns have emerged for people with AB blood. For instance, research suggests that those with non-blood types, particularly B and AB, may face slightly increased likelihood of heart disease and blood clots. One theory posits that these blood types promote a stickier blood consistency, leading to easier clotting. This can be beneficial in halting bleeding, yet detrimental if it results in clots within arteries or veins. Individuals with AB blood may also have an elevated risk of gastric cancer, affecting the stomach. Again, the precise causes remain unclear, but it could relate to how AB blood types respond to infections, particularly the Heliobacter pylori bacteria linked to stomach ulcers and cancer. Some evidence suggests a correlation between AB blood and higher risks of cognitive decline, especially in older adults. A study published in the journal Neurology indicated that AB blood individuals were more prone to memory and thinking issues. Researchers propose that this might relate to clotting factors and brain blood flow. However, these findings remain under investigation. Does this simply AB blood is hazardous? Not at all. It merely indicates that your blood type might offer valuable insights into your health, potentially informing future personalized medicine. In fact, the narrative takes a positive turn here. 
doctors and researchers are leveraging blood type alongside genetic information and medical history to determine the most suitable treatments for individuals. This approach is known as precision medicine and is among the most exciting trends in healthcare. For instance, certain cancer therapies may prove more or less potent depending on blood type. Similarly, some vaccines might trigger stronger immune responses relative to blood type. Eventually, we may potentially forecast disease risk or medication side effects according to blood type. This isn't fiction, it's already unfolding in small-scale applications. And for AB blood, researchers are taking notice. It's rare it grants AB blood a distinctive role in studies, posing better questions. Why does AB blood act this way? What differentiates it from A or B? Is there learning potential for the broader population? Another avenue where AB blood is impacting sciences in stem cell research. Stem cells sourced from AB blood are highly beneficial for specific experiments and therapies. Given that AB blood is less likely to provoke immune reactions, it's sometimes utilized to create universal stem cell lines for future treatments. This area is still in its infancy, but the potential is substantial. Now let's pivot briefly to something unexpected, evolution. As mentioned before, AB blood is the youngest among major blood types, likely emerging just about 1,000 years ago, which is remarkably recent from an evolutionary standpoint. This raises an intriguing query. Why did AB blood materialize at all? Some scientists propose that AB blood arose to establish immunological balance. Since AB individuals possess both A and B antigens, their immune systems demonstrate greater tolerance. They're less inclined to produce antibodies that target foreign cells. In ancient times, Ashumans began forming more densely populated communities, trading and intermixing. Having AB blood might have conferred a survival edge. This could have made AB individuals more adaptable to varied germs, foods and surroundings enhancing resistance to certain illnesses or assisting in surviving infections. While this remains speculative, the concept is indeed intriguing. And there's more. The dual nature of AB blood can also lead to distinct responses to stress. Preliminary studies hint that those with AB blood might generate higher cortisol levels in specific situations, which may influence aspects like blood pressure and sleep. However, research is still underway and there's no cause for alarm. It's just another facet of this puzzle. Before concluding, let's look towards the future. Extensive research is underway regarding blood types and their relationships with various factors, including cancer, viruses, and aging. For instance, during the COVID-19 pandemic, some studies indicated blood type might influence responses to the virus, suggesting type O individuals had a marginally lower risk of infection, while A, B, or A might have a higher risk of severe illness. Though these findings are preliminary and require more investigation, they highlight yet another way blood type might play a role in unforeseen ways. Finally, there's the prospect of synthetic blood. Scientists are endeavoring to formulate artificial blood for use when real blood supplies dwindle. If successful, this could revolutionize care for rare blood types like AB, allowing enhanced, tailored treatment. So, what's the key takeaway? Type AB blood is rare. It stands out. It operates uniquely. But it's not merely a curiosity. It contributes to a larger narrative about our understanding of the human body, personalized healthcare, and even tracing our species' evolution. If you possess A blood, consider yourself part of a unique group. Your blood can receive donations from anyone, while your plasma can benefit everyone. Researchers continue to explore the nuanced workings of your body. And if you lack AB blood, that's just fine too. Every blood type tells its own story. However, this account of AB is particularly eclectic, recent, and captivating within human biology. Thank you for following us on this journey. We hope you learned something new, perhaps even viewing blood through a different lens. Until next time, remain curious, stay informed, and care for your body. It harbors more secrets than you know.